guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a very exciting video to share with you I know you guys enjoy watching declutter videos and that is what we're going to be doing today so I actually this time around on my declutter um, as I mentioned in my blush declutter I am taking everything out of my drawers and going through item by item um, and this time I decided to tackle the categories that are bothering me the most first so I'm mean, gonna kind of work that way and then you know towards the end we'll be doing the easier stuff so today I'm going to be doing face powders um, I don't have a massive amount of face powders but I have several that every time I open that drawer I'm like I'm never gonna use that powder so I figured that would be a good place to go to next this video should be pretty short because I don't have a huge amount as I mentioned already so also I do have to mention on every single one of these videos a slight disclaimer all of the products that I get rid of I do pass along to friends and family on rare occasions I will sell it either to glam bought or on my Poshmark account but the majority of products go to friends and family so um, just know that everything is finding a home unless it's expired it will end up in the trash if it's expired everything else I do make sure it finds a new home so let's go ahead and get started guys okay you guys so this is what my um, drawer currently looks like for my face powders and then I do actually have several as in my everyday makeup drawer that I'm going to grab as well. So I just wanted to show you. It's not super crowded, um, but there are a few powders in here I know already that I can get rid of. So I thought this would be a good place to go next. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this out. Okay, you guys. So I just went ahead and pulled everything out. I just pulled the whole bin out for um, the drawer that these are stored in. And then I grabbed all the individual ones that were in my everyday makeup drawer. So let's start with these ones that were loose. Um, most of these are newer products that I'm kind of testing still, like this Sephora collection powder. This is brand new. I'm testing this out um, because I do want to do a review. Um, so that is definitely going to stay. Um, same thing with this Kat Von D powder. This I just got in gratis recently and I've been kind of testing it out. I actually really like this one so far. This one I'm kind of on the fence about. This one I really, really have been enjoying. Um, and then next I have this Sephora Bright Set Powder. This has been in my everyday makeup drawer for some time. I actually really do like this a lot, so that will be staying. Next up I have this Bobbi Brown. This is a powder that you could really call either a highlight or a finishing powder. It's kind of a hybrid, just like the Hourglass powders. So far I've been really enjoying it, and it's one of those things I've only used a couple of times though, so I definitely need to try it out some more before I have a good opinion on that guy. And then the last one that I had in my everyday makeup drawer is this Smashbox Halo Powder. This is actually a mini that I got in the Beauty To Go size. Um, this says it's the shade light, but I feel like this runs really dark. I wish I had got the fair shade, but I'm not normally a fair. I am usually am a light, but this is just super, not super dark, but it is slightly dark on me, but it's very dark for a light shade. So um, I still do like it, but I'm feeling like maybe this is more of a summer shade on me. I am going to keep using it, though, because I do want to test it out a little bit more. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move on to what's in here. This is where the bulk of stuff I know I need to get rid of is. I actually think I'm going to start with this guy because I know I need to get rid of this. So what this is, is not going to focus on that because it's like holographic. The packaging is gorgeous, but this is from Physicians Formula. It's called a Super BB. It's supposed to be like a... BB um, cream uh, powder hybrid. It's supposed to be like a cream to powder, but the problem is I just have the wrong shade and I actually received this from a friend. It's not the right shade for me. It's medium slash deep and then also it is really old. So um, in fact, does it have an expiration on here? Oh, January of 2015. So yeah, this is very, very old. So it is time for this guy to go in the garbage. That is bad. Okay. Next up, I have my Kat Von D powder. This is another one I received in gratis. This is her Locket powder. Um, this I actually like a lot. Again, it's one of the, the shades that is more of a summer shade on me, but it's something I really enjoy. So this I will be keeping as well. The next up I have my Makeup Forever um, Duo Matte Powder. This is one of my favorite powders. I love this. It's a good match on me. Um, I love that it's mattifying. It gives a pretty decent coverage. I usually just use it as a setting powder, but I really, really like it a lot, so that's going to be staying for sure. Okay, next up I have this Physicians Formula. This is called the Cover 10 no, Cover Talks 10. It's supposed, it says it's a wrinkle therapy face powder, which I guess it must have some 
skincare in there and it's supposed to be in the shade translucent light so my biggest problem with this I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this um, my lighting is crap right now what is going on just way too bright okay that's better so I don't still don't know if you're gonna see it but this has some serious hard pan on it you guys and I keep every time I use it I scrape the hard pan off and then it forms again immediately I've never had a powder do that like every single time I use it now I do use this to set my foundation so I do put it over the top of a foundation I feel like that's what's causing the hard pan is like I'll apply a little bit and then dip my brush after touching my face and I think the foundation uh, mixed with the powder is just not it's just making this powder upset but uh, that's the only time I would use this so for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that guy all right and then next up I have this Lancome foundation this is the ageless mineral um, natural ivory is the shade that I have this is like a loose powder um, I actually really do like this one so that I'm gonna keep as well uh, next up, this gets so dirty. That's my biggest pet peeve with this, but this is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is a dupe for the Makeup Forever HD Powder. It is it performs exactly the same. I love this powder. I just wish it wasn't so darn messy because every time I open it, it does make a huge, huge mess, but the powder inside is great. So I do recommend that guy. Okay, next up, another one of my all-time favorites. This is from Cover FX. This is the um, Illuminating Powder in Light. I really want to get their mattifying one, too, but we're always sold out of it. Um, this one is really good for baking. If you're looking for a powder you can use for baking, this one is great. Um, I know Jaclyn Hill mentioned this in a few of her favorite videos, and ever since that happened, it's like we're always sold out of it at my store, so it is a little bit hard to get your hands on, but um, if you can find this, definitely recommend it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful powder, and yeah, I'm definitely keeping that guy as well. Next, I have a mini, mini of the Makeup Forever HD powder. This is another one I really do enjoy. I probably Probably won't buy this again though because as I mentioned that elf one is an exact dupe and it's way 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 cheaper um, but I am gonna use up what I have of this because it is a nice powder and then I also have my miniature of the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is very similar to the cover effects one um, I really like both of them a lot and I do recommend this one as well it's very beautiful and again you can use that for baking as well okay let's go to this back compartment so first I have my Mac mineralized skin finish in light plus you guys know this is my holy Gra grail powder um, this is definitely not going anywhere I've already hit pan on this particular one this is probably the sixth one that I've owned I've gone through this powder so many times and even with all the other powders that I own and I don't use this on a daily basis I continue to go through these I love this it's gorgeous and I do recommend trying that if you haven't it's beautiful um, and then I have an hourglass powder this is in the shade luminous light so these powders are kind of a hybrid between a highlighter and a setting powder. You can use it to set if you want to give like a little bit of a glow to your foundation or you can use it for a highlight if you want a very, very subtle and natural highlight. Um, so I do like this powder. I definitely don't use it as much as I need to use it, but I'm really considering pulling this into my project, um, use it or lose it for 2017. So I definitely want to keep it because it was really expensive and it is a good powder. I just really need to get through it. Speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and pull this too to show you guys. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio. And this comes with dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. So um, all three different shades from this guy here. I, I do like this one. Again, same thing I find with the other one. I just don't use it as much as I should be. This one here in the center actually has a little bit of a dip starting in that, but the other two look like I've hardly used them. Actually, this one, it looks like I've never used that one. So I definitely need to get busy on using these, but I do like them. So I am going to go ahead and keep that as well. All right, and the last thing back here, this is the NYX Blotting Powder. And um, this is actually a translucent powder. Um, it's just for meant for blotting. I had two of these. I broke the first one, so I am going to keep that one because I, I do use these a lot in the summertime. I'm not going to be using it much now, but when it gets really hot, I definitely need a blotting powder. Alrighty. Um, so next up I have this Stila, um, Set and Illuminate 
Baked Trio. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I had this in my um, Use It or Lose It for 2016, and I used it up earlier on this year, um, but I loved it so much. I actually, um, this is discontinued, but I actually went on the Glambot site and bought another one because I love it so much. Um, it's very similar to the Hourglass powder. So this is a powder that does give a little bit of an illumination. Sometimes I use it as a highlight. Sometimes I use it to set. Usually if I'm going to use it to set, it's for my under eye, but I love it and I'm really happy that I have another one of those. Okay. And then next up I have my MAC Studio Sculpt. Um, this is also in light plus. This one also has some hard pan issues on it. So I need to clean that off, but I don't, I, I wanted to try this one to compare it to the Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't like it as much as the, as the Mineralized Skin Finish. It's just a, like a standard powder. I don't feel like there's anything special about this. Um, I am going to use it up because it's a decent powder, but it's definitely not my favorite. And from now on, I'm just going to sk uh, stick to the MSF instead because this is just not as good. But I am going to use that, so I'll keep it. And then I also have this Studio Fix powder, in, and this one here um, was my daughter's, and she stopped using it because it was too light on her. She's uh, much more of an olive skin tone, so I took it because I figured I could use this especially in the summertime. So I, um, she did hit pan on it before she gave it to me, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that as well. I'd like to just use that up so I can back to MAC it. All right, next up I have this um, Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Press Powder. This is another powder that I absolutely love. I got this from Octoly, and I did do a review, which I'll link above. This is a great powder, so that is not going anywhere. I'm not doing too good so far, you guys. Okay, this is one I can get rid of. This is from Milani. This is the Multitasker Face Powder in Light Tan. So this is just the wrong shade for me. It's just too warm, and it just ends up looking really orange on my skin, so that I I am going to get rid of. Um, and then I have this Revlon Age Defying uh, Powder. This is actually a really nice powder. I don't know why I don't pull this out more often. I definitely need to pull this in my nose next rotation um, because I actually really like this. So I'm going to be keeping that as well. Next up, I have this clean color powder. This I got from the Shop Masse website. This is actually pretty decent for the price. It's a dollar. If you don't know, everything on the Shop Masse site is a dollar. It's almost like, a, it feels like a cream to powder finish. It's actually really nice, so I am going to keep that. And I have my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is another one of my favorite um, powders, especially for drugstore. This is a great powder that's not going anywhere. Same thing with this uh, Maybelline Fit Me powder. I love this one. I've actually really close. You can see the pan starting to... Um, get close. So this I'm going to be hitting pan on soon. This is a really light shade on me. So I usually use this to set my under eye or in um, the fall, win fall winter when I'm really fair, I'll use that. Okay. And then the last thing I had in here, this is actually called the Flawless Facebook. Um, and this is from Laura Mercier. It's not just a powder. It has a bunch of different face products in here. So you have, it says the secret camouflage. You have two shades of that. A secret concealer. The powder is under here, a mineral press powder under here, and then you have a tinted moisturizer cream. I didn't buy this that long ago. This is pretty new for me, and I just really, really dislike it because of the sizes of the pan. It's not something I ever reach for, nor do I ever think I really will. So I'm really sad about it, but I unfortunately am going to be getting rid of that now as well. Hey, okay, let's put everything back. Okay, so I did keep the ones that go in my everyday more makeup drawer outside of this um, because I'll be putting those back where they came from. But this is actually a lot less full now. I didn't think I got rid of that much. I didn't get rid of that much, but there's a lot more space in here now. So that's always my goal whenever I do these clear outs that I have a little bit of room for growth because I do get things in gratis here and there. And then I usually um, will pick up things here and there. And I like to have room for anything new that makes its way into my collection. So I'm going to put that away and then real quick I'll just show you what I did end up getting rid of. So I did end up getting rid of just these four products. I feel like that's okay considering I don't have a huge amount of powder. So um, yeah, these are the items that I got rid of. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, declutter today. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me declutter next from my collection, leave those down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.